It's gonna be a long year in Houston, boy. That's all I can say. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna be a long year in Houston, boy. But we can, we definitely gonna take talk about that. Cause I was, I was just thinking about that today, man. Like what? Nah, nah. If I make a deal, we go. We, we, I'm a man. We're gonna, we're gonna stand by that deal. That's that coward stuff. Nah, man. He should make that. He should make that trade stand. Man, Cause you can't be. That's 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 whack, man. Yeah, you can't. That don't happen in real life. No, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind you get out of it. No, you're going to stick to our deal. No, F that, Texas. I've been hot. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see what we're doing. How we want to play these boys? Right, maybe I should maybe I should do that. On 2K Sports, along with Steve Kerr and Clark Hello, this is Kevin Harlan. The fans are making noise here at the Time Warner Cable Arena for this Hornets home game. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. What's he doing? All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out we roll who's with on the floor. On the floor for Boston. The speedy backcourt of Rondo and Bradley. The skilled frontcourt of Jared Sullinger and Kelly Olynyk, And it's Green in at the small forward. Shot clock at three. Boston needs to get off a shot. Bradley can't get it to go. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist missing six weeks last season with a broken hand. And frankly, he took a step back overall. His numbers getting worse almost across the board. Rondo with it. Olenek sets a screen for Rondo. And to Sullinger. Man, hold on, man. <laughs> I don't know what he's, he's doing. I, I don't know what they're doing. Hold on, hold on, man. Let me see some. Oh, that's why. Up off the screen. That's an efficient start for them offensively. He Working is. it inside. He's hurt. He yeah, for nine points. weeks. Got hurt last night. Yeah, Clark, I think they can really attack this club in the paint. Yeah. That's where they can win this game if they dominate there. Walker against Rondo. Here's Jefferson. Indeed. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Rondo dishes to Olenek. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 
Olenix got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Jefferson is green on run. And Walker kicks to Stevenson. Looking for Jefferson, he gets it there. The nine foot shot. Good. Boston's gone one or two from long range. Come on, man. Quarter. No, I'm not training on my defense star. Thought this was like a. Walker against Rondo. And there's the feet to Olenek. And the wide open shot from Green. And the three off target. Walker with it. Selinger picks him up. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. There's Drag the double team, team out. Slams. Drag the double team out. And make it That's play. what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Find a gap in the defense and attack that rim with force. He is so good at doing just that. Maybe as good as anybody. Just so athletic and strong. Now here's Rondo. Over to the wing. Here's Olenek. Off target with his three. Charlotte in the lead. Jefferson a screen on run. Walker goes in. Pass to Jefferson. The three. Walker's shot is off. The Celtics have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Rondo kicks to Green. Outside for Rondo. To the right side. Here's Sollinger. Oh, wow. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Sollinger's got five points so far. Now, here's Walker. Stevenson outside. And he dunks it down. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. And I'm agreeing with you there. Once they open the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? So it's Boston now. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Oh. Here's Sollinger. Jefferson with some nice D. Well, he defended the shot, got back in the play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. Zeller setting the pick for Walker. Right side to Walker. He had stolen by Sollinger. Bradley kicks to Green. And he hits the jumper for two. That's a pretty good finish to a very shaky offensive possession. Well, going into last season, the Celtics had made six straight playoff appearances, two trips to the finals, and one NBA championship. But uh, there was no question, last year was the beginning of a rebuild. It's stolen by Green. Soft touch off the glass. Green's got his second bucket of the game to go. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. And it's always tough for fans to swallow the word rebuild, especially when you trade away such beloved players as KG and Paul Pierce. But, you know, I think the Celtics took the prudent and sensible route. I mean, they got good return for their aging All-Stars and they put themselves in a, in a good position going forward. And as much as you like to sometimes look back or stay in the present, GM's job and an organization's job is to <sighs> be preparing for the future. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. And as the Celtics go young, I guess, Steve, you could say greener than ever. Oh, Kevin, <laughs> I mean, come on. That's awful. Ah, shit. <laughs> but listen, they've acquired a ton of picks over the next four years. And who knows, with the Nets battling age and injury, 
Some of those picks could turn out to be good ones. So I like what the front office has done in terms of the future. And Kevin, I liked your line. I don't care Thank what you, I don't care what Steve said. I really meant it for you than him. He yeah. just jumped in. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> now here's Bradley. Looking for his first basket still in this one. No one near Turner is. I think what are they doing with him? Must be double teaming on the catch too. Yeah. I, I meant to put on a drive. Let's that put, go. I put it on the catch by mistake. That's why. And again, they was just coming up double out of the They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Hornets trail by five. Here's Walker. Jefferson setting the pick for Walker. Addition out to Stevenson. Left block shot on the way. That misses. How you telling the hook shots on here? Celtics leading by five. That shit said ball. very late. It said very late. by Walker. Smart passes to Turner. Olenek sets a screen for Turner. Six on the shot clock. There's the double team with Walker. Here's Smart. Kept alive. Hornets have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. And here's Walker. Stevenson outside. Kicks it to Jefferson. That ball. Ice feed that time from Stevenson. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Celtics have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Lance Stevenson, the all-time leading scorer in the history of high school basketball in New York State. And that's something when you consider part the great players who came before him. Yeah, to be at the top of that list says a lot about his high school career. He actually led Lincoln High School to an unprecedented four straight city basketball championships. There's a reason his nickname is Born Ready. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Now, they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. Some changes for Charlotte. Marvin Williams has checked in for Zeller. And it's Henderson for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And for Stevenson, despite the high school accolades, uh, you know, questions about eligibility and off-the-court issues caused many colleges not to recruit him. And after one season at Cincinnati, he slid to the second round of the draft, but he's really become quite a player. Walker dishes to Williams. Takes a big height bounce and goes in. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their... I don't like they play more play more garbage. That has 10 points have come in the paint. I'm trying to learn. I'm, that's Lance, why I don't like playing you know, a lot of teams. I'm trying to learn one team at a time. Indiana. Team that was patient, worked with him to Let's help develop his talent. Paul George is in that starring role Lance there for the, Lance the foreseeable future. And I yeah, think Lance yeah. 
perhaps you don't, wanted to move on to Charlotte to see how he could handle being the main guy on the team. Lance Stevenson.